Chapter 16 In the thirty-sixth year of Asa's reign, King Baasha of Israel invaded Judah, and fortified Ramah in order to prevent anyone from entering or leaving King Asa's territory in Judah. Asa responded by taking the silver and gold from the treasuries of the Lord's temple and from the royal palace. He sent it to King Ben-Hadad of Aram, who was ruling in Damascus, along with this message. Let us renew the treaty that existed between your father and my father. See, I am sending you a gift of silver and gold. Break your treaty with King Baasha of Israel, so that he will leave me alone. Ben-Hadad agreed to King Asa's request, and sent his armies to attack Israel. They conquered the towns of Aijon, Dan, Abel, beth and all the store cities in Naphtali. As soon as Baasha of Israel heard what was happening, he abandoned his project of fortifying Rimah. Then King Asa called out all the men of Judah to carry away the building stones and timbers that Baasha had been using to fortify Rimah. Asa used these materials to fortify the towns of Geba and Mizpah. At that time Hanani the seer came to King Asa and told him, Because you have put your trust in the king of Aram instead of in the Lord your God, you missed your chance to destroy the army of the king of Aram. Don't you remember what happened to the Ethiopians and Libyans and their vast army with all of their chariots and horsemen? At that time you relied on the Lord, and he handed them all over to you. The eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. What a fool you have been! From now on you will be at war. Asa became so angry with Hanani for saying this that he threw him into prison. At that time Asa also began to oppress some of his people. The rest of the events of Asa's reign from beginning to end are recorded in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. In the thirty-ninth year of his reign, Asa developed a serious foot disease. Even when the disease became life-threatening, he did not seek the Lord's help, but sought help only from his physicians. So he died in the forty-first year of his reign. He was buried in the tomb he had carved out for himself in the city of David. He was laid on a bed perfumed with sweet spices and ointments, and at his funeral the people built a huge fire in his honor.